Welcome everybody, for those who are joining. Pardon the jackhammer, we are near construction here at Warnervale. Uh, I'm your sales manager of the Hunter for McDonald Jones Homes, Daniel King, and your host for this afternoon's event. We are walking through the Saxon Vale 40 and uh, Michael Squires, our building and design consultant, is with us today. So, uh, we are here standing at the, the patio of the Saxon Vale 40, one of our most popular designs and, and viewers will find out why uh, throughout the, the journey today. Uh, tell us about this facade, the styling and, and, and the front of this house. Yeah, well, I've, 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 I was privileged to open this home uh, about 18 months ago. This is the Saxon Vale 40 with the Hampton Sea facade. Um, tremendous facade. It has a huge balcony off the front of it. Yeah, it's um, even upstairs, the front patio down here is fantastic. And upstairs, the patio is awesome. So plenty of room for table, chairs, um, our fresco dining, if that's your thing. If you have a view, excellent. Sit out there, nice glass of red wine in the afternoons. Yeah, take in the vista. So. And uh, th there are different finishes. Uh, with this facade, talk about you know the render that we've done here and, and the yep. options with this. Okay, so what we've done on this home is we've done a full rendered finish. This is a brick veneer home yep. with a full rendered finish. Now we've done this right around this home, but we have different options with this home. One of those in our upgrade package that, that, that supports this home is a uh, full hebel rendered finish as well. So brick or hebel, um, the choice is yours. So, so what is the difference between brick and hebel? Okay, so um, a brick is uh, obviously, uh, as you know, a, a residential brick is, is laid. Um, it's on a mortar bed and it, um, it's laid in, in a bond fashion around the home. Uh, then basically we render finish over the top. With hebel, hebel is done in a XL power panel. So it's a full height reinforced concrete panel, which is applied to the frame of the home rather than the brick. Um, a lot of people uh, misconstrued brick. They think it's a structural part of the home. It's not, it is the structural part of the home. Sure. The brickwork and the rent and the hebel itself is a, actually a... Uh, this finish, regardless, um, yep. the difference is the hebel is part of the inclusion package. Yeah, it, hebel's part of the inclusion package and, uh, and it's a lot less expensive to do that than doing mm. the full render finish to the home. The other thing to think about with hebel is it is three times more thermally efficient than brick. So it actually brings some great characteristics with it. Uh, which in turn helps the basics uh, requirements. Yeah, uh, so Hamptons is, is very popular at the moment. Oh yeah. Uh, it comes down to the details though, doesn't it, on the facade. So yep. your mouldings, uh, your windows, the way they're detailed. Do you want to go through those? Yeah, so as you see them here, we have corbelling around the top of the piers here. Um, different colour, contrasting colour, which makes it really stand out. Um, and these are the colours you pick yourself. So you can pick the finishes and uh, the colour finishes of your home yep. and how you want it to look. You can do the Hamptons facade, even, you know, they might be white corbelling as in our brochures. Um, so the idea different options, you know, lighter greys and things like that certainly work real with the Hamptons facade. You'll notice also on here on the front facade here, we have the, um, we have the uh, colonial bars on the windows yeah, really as well. I don't know nicely. if you can see that very well on the uh, film at the moment, but um, yeah, up here we have the colonial bars on the windows. Look, that feel. Perfect. Yeah. Well, to re-welcome the viewers that are joining us today, thanks so much for rejoining if you saw our last video we are doing these these series i'm with michael squires today i'm also with lisa stacy who is our other building and design consultant here and kate from our marketing team will be uh in the house that you'll see as well so why don't we head on through yeah true I'll let's go there. yeah come on so um this is the entry foyer for our uh, Saxon Vale 40. As you can see, this home comes with standard with double front do entry doors and a magnificent entry foyer when you want to meet your uh, uh, family and friends when they come over. Um, you can also see here that we do have some built-in furniture in the front entry hallway. These are options for the home and certainly um, you can design these uh, styles of uh, built-in furniture to meet your requirements. And our My Choice Colour Selection Studio, we can help you with that. If you'd like to come on through, we'll go into the front living area of the home. Mate, this is unreal. And as you can as you can see already, oh, sorry. Dan's, sorry. Made, Dan's made himself comfortable as he always does. <laughs> sorry about um, that. But uh, this this is the ground floor living, and um, yeah, as you can see, again we have some nice built-in furniture here. Um, so this, this yeah. is a front living room. So so for the viewers that might um, you know like this sort of style, what would you use this for, Mick, if you were living in this house today? Um, so generally what happens with a two-story home like this, you have ground floor and uh, first floor living spaces. Um, so a lot of people use this as their, um, for the parents really, a, a quiet space they can come into. Mm. Um, their children can be up, uh, upstairs or out the back. Um, 
and not disturbing them. So most people will use this like it's set up here with a TV as a quiet space for family, uh, for the senior members of the family. And with our architectural designs uh, throughout all our range, uh, we like bulkheads. Tell us the reason why and, and what it does. Okay, so the bulkhead features you can see here um, when we come through the home, you'll see the bulkhead features we, we have here. Basically, it defines the space that you're in. Also, um, sometimes we have them over the furniture recess and things like that. That'll actually uh, define the space and give you the uh, ability to have that furniture go right up to the bulkhead itself. Mm. And um, yeah, nice and clean. And, and with the furniture recess? It's, it's all fitted out, but you've got options here as well, don't you? Yeah, you certainly do. The standard home doesn't come with the fitted furniture, but we do this as an option in our My Choice Colour Selection Studio. And um, basically, you can set it up how you like, and it'll be costed out for you um, to fit the space. Um, you know, I sometimes convert this home, as, this, this room as well. We put doors on it to close it off. Um, if they have extended family living with them, because it's such a big house, you can do that. Mm. This might be the living area for the extended family as well. So... Um, yeah, it, Brilliant. the space to works very, very well. Plenty of options. <laughs> Stacks of options. Too, too many options sometimes. Yeah, yeah, that's right. Let's head on through to the next <laughs> room now. So you're going to go through our, our home office. So this is the home office here. Yeah, this is the home office. Um, uh, welcome to the home office, everybody. This is Lisa. Hello. Lisa works with me, with me here at this uh, the centre. She's in the Santa Fe um, display at the other end. Um, and Lisa... Welcome to Facebook Live. Yeah. Hi, everybody. <laughs> and um, what is your favourite part of the Saxon Bar 40? Well, I would have to say, like most, I love the Hampton styling. That comes first and foremost. And secondly, I'd probably say the open plan living with the versat versatility of our designs. And, and that's, yeah. that's a great point, versatility. We touched on a little bit before about putting doors and stuff on the family on the living, but um, for instance, this home office, this has a guest room option as standard. So when I was talking about that extended family living, this works. You, you convert this to a ground floor um, uh, guest room option, and the powder room next door has a shower placed in it, which then gives you that full ensuite effect. Um, so yeah, versatile, good point, Lise, thank you. Um, the, and you'll find that throughout this home. When we go upstairs, there's some other options too with this home that'll certainly work very, very well for people. Now, Lisa is taking uh, questions online at the moment, which we will uh, answer up there at the top of the first floor later on. So, Lisa, thanks for doing that. Keep taking questions. If, if anyone is online and, and has any questions for us, please shoot them through in the comments section uh, because we will be answering them a little bit later. Thanks, yeah, Lisa. Let's chat. Sorry, just one quick thing. This is Kate. I didn't want to ignore her. This is Kate from our marketing team. Yeah, <laughs> perfect. And Kate does an excellent job with our, with our team there. So, thanks. Oh, thank you, guys. Uh, all right, let's head on through to the next point. And this point is probably one of my personal favorites in this house is the stairs and the position of the stairs and why they are there, how it flows. Yeah, okay, so this is a, a, this is a, a great, um, I guess, design feature of the Saxo Bar 40 is that the stairs connect the ground floor living with the upstairs living. A lot of two-story homes, what happens is the stairwell's tucked out on the side somewhere, in, uh, you know, in a corner or it's at the front of the home where you have to actually leave the ground floor living area. To, to, to track through the home, to get to the stairs, to go upstairs, and yeah. then back to the living area upstairs. Makes you dizzy. Makes you dizzy. As you can see here, the, the stairs connect the ground floor living directly with the upstairs living. So for a two-story home, it just flows so well. Yeah. I, I, can't, I, can't, I can't say it enough how well this actually home flows for a two-story home. And, it the, just and the, de the detail specifically, you, you've got plenty of options here in our staircases, but talk about this one and then the options that you have alternatively if you're not... Um, wanting that traditional look. Yeah, so um, um, we're fortunate enough in our upgrade package to have two stairwell options um, uh, available as a selection item. So you can just pick whichever one you want. Um, one of those is wrought iron pickets with a painted handrail and painted posts. Now that suits perfectly with the Hampton style. You could also upgrade your stairwell uh, like this with the uh, turned newel posts, um, decorative feature posts and the hand stained handrails, etc. Um, we also have in the upgrade package the solid timber treads and risers for the stairwell itself. And if you really want to go with that contemporary look, we have some fantastic facades for this that work in the contemporary way as well. There is a contemporary staircase in there which gives you the glass and stainless steel balustrade with a painted handrail. Absolutely beautiful. That would look amazing too. Yeah. Very good. Well, we are now flowing into what we call the family living, open plan living, which is popular on all our designs. But talk us through this family placement and how it flows into the outdoors. Well, this is obviously the heart of the home with any home, uh, Dan, as you would know, and this doesn't let you down. 
Yeah. This just, it's a massive space that flows uninterrupted out into your outdoor living area as well. Yeah. Um, as you can see here, kitchen, dining room, and it flows straight out onto our uh, rear deck yeah. and our fresco. And, and, and what we've got here is an extension to the house, uh, which really finishes off this yard so brilliantly. Talk about what this area is and, and, and the light factors that come with it. Yeah, well, what we've done on display here is on our standard facade over here, what we've done is we've decked it and we've extended that deck right out to be three and a half metres to the rear of the home. And as you can see, it just gives you a magnificent outdoor living space. What we've done here is we've placed an open pergola over the top of the home, and that's to allow us to get natural light into these living spaces. Um, we have done in the past where we've extended this whole roof line out right across the back of the home. Now, if you've got a great solar orientation, fantastic. That still lets the light in if you've got a northern aspect. Mm. Um, and it, um, yeah, it just works really, really well. And as we head back into so brilliantly out here, um, you've got different options in, in how you place the doors, windows, yes. that type of thing. Do you want to talk through that? Yeah, so you can see on the back here, we have uh, three sets of bifold doors. Um, these are fantastic product, really easy to use. And as you can see, really open up the back of the house. The standard doors on this are the sliding stacker doors. And believe it or not, they are more popular than the bifold mm. doors mm. Um, just because of the ease of screening them and that the fact that they don't open out onto the space like these ones do. Yeah. But saying that, I'm building a home currently with us and I've selected bifold doors for the rear. They are, they are very nice, aren't they? Yeah. And as we come on through here, we've got uh, it flowing back into what is the heart of the home, the kitchen. Yeah. But before we get to the kitchen, you're going to show us the placement of the laundry yep. and, and the doors that match. Yep, the, the forgotten space. So how about we take you into the laundry here? We'll have a quick look and Dan will uh, meet you out here when I come back out. So when you come into here, this is the laundry, like I said before, the forgotten space usually. But as you can see here, with this home, we haven't forgotten about it. And there's that magnificent walk-in linen right at the end of the laundry space. And we have the laundry bench and overhead cabinets and plenty of room for the uh, washing machine and clothes dryer here. And Mick, I noticed the door as you walked in is a glass door. Is there a reason for it? Yeah, so certainly um, we like to place the glass doors on internal spaces to share the light. So the light coming through this uh, laundry um, in the afternoon like this is magnificent and it actually flows out into the kitchen space and lets that light uh, open up that space as well. Well, speaking of the kitchen, it is an absolute cracker, this one. Um, I am in love with it. <laughs> it's a great us, kitchen, isn't it? I, I love the, this cabinetry. Talk, talk me through it all. Yeah, so this is what we call the Hunter Shaker style kitchen cabinetry and it's a two-pack polyurethane finish. Um, it just goes perfectly with the Hampton style. Mm. Now on this uh, kitchen itself, we've done the, what we call the um, uh, alternate kitchen layout, which includes pot drawers underneath the uh, cooktop. As you can see, these are all soft clothes ones we've included here. Awesome. And we've also got a concealed ducted range hood. Um, yeah. Viewers should know that our ducted range hood is standard with these homes. Um, so whether it's a canopy range hood or a concealed range hood, it is ducted to outside air. Um, uh, with this one as well, you can see we've done the 40 millimetre stone bench tops to the kitchen island. And in our package, we have standard, we have an undermount sink or drop in sink viewer's choice, really. Yeah, I like this one. Yeah. And, and the tapware as well, you know, the, the gooseneck. So that's uh, yeah. obviously a popular one, the flip mixer. Yeah, there is. And we've got uh, in the standard package for this, you've also got the option for a veggie sprayer as well. Um, yeah, so it comes with the package. And I noticed everything in this kitchen seems to just work in proportion. Uh, you've got the light fittings, the way they sit. Everything's just at the right level. Do you want to talk me through how we achieve that? Yeah, so what we've done here is we've dropped those pendants to the right working height so that when you're at the working bench, you're not getting any overshadowing of yourself so they're positioned correctly for the bench mm. itself. How we've achieved that height is by increasing the ceiling heights to this ground level to 2.7s. You can see we also we've square set the ceilings in here, which is a great option now and a really good feature for the home. Um, but it gives you the ability to have that height so the pendants don't look too short, they're exactly the right height, and you're not whacking your head. And on a, yeah. on a standard house, what, what do we provide ceiling height wise? Well, so ceiling height in our standard package is everything except the now series. We provide 2.55 ceilings to either the ground floor or the whole floor of a single level home. And that's still above the standard two fourths. So oh yeah, yeah, so absolutely. That's a gonna, great height. Yeah. yeah, you're not gonna lose out on ceiling heights and you can make these any level to the ceiling, can't you? Yeah, absolutely. Sure. You can position to suit your height. So I'm, I'm quite tall, I'm around six foot, but if you're shorter, you could then lower these, height, these uh, lights down. Are you suggesting I'm short? No, 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 Dad, I wouldn't say that. Yeah, bit, bit overweight, mate, but I, that's all right, mate. No worries. Uh, look, I love the kitchen. What I like 
more so that flows off the kitchen is the butler's pantry. So when you are entertaining, I'm, I'm gonna show the viewers this. We're gonna meet you back up the top, Mick. Yeah. Um, I'm gonna walk through uh, the butlers now to show viewers. Uh, a lot of people ask what comes with a butler. So I'm gonna show you that now. Uh, if, if you walk in here, a butler's pantry allows for a secondary sink. It's a round sink. Uh, the overhead cupboards, the stone bench top and below cupboards. Uh, it's a floating shelf above and obviously the tile as well to waterproof this area. And what is important about the placement of this butler's pantry is we don't show it on this design because the office is here, but your garage door is actually here. So what that allows is when you're coming home with your shopping, you can walk straight through here and drop it right off. You don't have to zigzag around the house. This floor plan flows from the garage straight into the kitchen. That's been done purposely by Stuart, our architect, who designs all our homes. Uh, the other important thing is uh, you don't lack storage with adding the butler's pantry into this design. You can see as we walk on here, you've got a massive walk-in pantry additional to the butler's option. So you can really do it all in this design. Uh, you're never gonna be short on space. Uh, and again, it works very well off the garage. So that's the butler's pantry. If you have any further questions about that, feel free to add them in. And I'm gonna hand you over to the uh, staircase to head on up to see Mick. Mick's gonna go through the upper floor with you now uh, and, and talk about the different variations you can have with the master and, and the positioning of that to the kids' room. So go on, Mick. Yeah, Take g'day guys, over. and welcome to the upstairs of the Saxon Bar 40. Um, just a bit of a rundown of what's up here. So we have five bedrooms up here and obviously a magnificent living area which you can see on your screen right now. Um, this living area uh, virtually mirrors the downstairs living area. It's a massive space and it's ideal for, that, uh, for the family. The kids come up here, watch TV, can play their games and do what they what do what they do, and obviously the bedrooms are at the rear of the home here as well. So you could I could see this um, this space used in multiple ways. I do like this this space. This is a, a desk for the kids. Yes, this. Yep. But if my kids have laptops and and I don't need the desk here, could I put a bar in here? Yeah, you can absolutely. Um, so in the past, what we've done, you can put a wet bar in here. We can have a sink in here. We can do a number of things. Um, awesome. with this space and certainly you know a two-story home um, they're very versatile but this even makes it more versatile that you might have it set up here for your tea and coffee in the evening mm. come up watch tv you know you're getting ready you're sort of oh, i think don't want to go downstairs again hey yeah. just make it there and away you go brilliant and and i noticed in the back wall here this panelling it just works so perfectly with the design do you want to talk about this panelling yeah so you can see what we've done here is we've done a v-joint board on the back here um, certainly works really well with a, um, a trim across the top um, these are options in the homes if you like to do that it, it certainly adds that factor to that hamptons look and um, yeah it just works really well and it flows into i, I guess mum and dad's room and 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 the escape from the from the kids yeah yeah so, uh, so talk us through this you've got your double doors which are brilliant yeah so standard double doors on this uh, uh on this room you wouldn't put glass on a bedroom um just because you don't want the shared light to come in here we do it because it's a display home we love the feature um, but as you can see here plenty of natural light comes into this room um good size uh plenty of room lounge in the corner yeah um yeah You're nice outlook out space, from the second story straight out the front of the home and it, 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 that allows so much light to come in doesn't it it does, yeah, it's fantastic. And it's got, a, it's got a, um, a standard window above the bed head as well, which allows more natural light to come in. Mm. Uh, we put plantation shutters on this home, as you can see, and, and they work really well because you can close them out and shut out that light as well if you need to. Um, if you've got a you know, shift worker and you're, and you're sleeping in the middle of the day and things like that, just makes the, the space um, darker and more pleasant to sleep in. So, look, my wife, um, we, we've just recently moved. 13 or 14 boxes this high, full of her clothes. Where am I gonna put them in this design? Well, I hope she's not watching this, you're in all I sorts of trouble. I think and uh, <laughs> I've told her to clear some, but it's not gonna happen. Uh, yeah. where, where are we gonna put her, her yeah, clothes? Okay. And, and where uh, is our one suite? Nice lead in, mate. Yeah. This is, um, we have two walk-in robes here on this design. They're magnificent robes. Uh, we call it a his and her setup. Um, straight through to our ensuite suite on the other side. Um, yeah, just, Magnificent storage in this home, everywhere. We've got understair storage on the garage side downstairs. We have the massive walk-in linen downstairs. Three-door linen um, in the hallway upstairs here, and obviously uh, twin walk-in robes in the master. And it's such an elegant bathroom, you know, double vanities. From, from this view here that you're seeing, and, and the viewers will see this in a second, when you're walking through, it just feels like you're in a, a glamorous hotel. Yeah, well, and, it's, and it's set up that way. Um, a lot of our designs, you'll notice we have the twin vanities 
Um, that's standard to this design, twin vanities, separate WC in here, which is uh, the toilet room. I'm talking, I'm hyphenating everything, but yeah, WC, water closet or toilet. Um, shower, and then on this side, the freestanding bath. And believe it or not, Dan, that comes in the package. Wow. Yeah. And, and for, for those who might want different alternate versions of, of baths and things, there's, there's not a limit, is there? No, no. So we can configure this space to how you like it. There's a couple of standard options already, um, which suit most people's uh, requirements. But yeah, you can configure this space any way you like. Brilliant. And I, I want to head back out to this area here because uh, there is alternate versions for perhaps parents that like to, to be at the back for views. Talk about that variation and what we can do in this area. Yeah, so um, what I've done previously before with that master suite that we just came out of, I've flipped it over to the rear before. So basically I can mirror reverse it, put the master at the rear and then bring your children's, act, uh, children's bedroom up to the front here. So yeah, so if, if you've got views and, and you want to make modifications, there's, there's no limit, is there? You can... Yeah, no, there, there isn't. There's lots of things you can do. All we do is we sit down with you and we come up with that design that's really going to meet your needs and your requirements and, um, and fit your family and your, the way you live. And um, it's certainly important for everybody um, that they think about the house and how they're going to live in that house um, and, how they, and how they want to live in that house. You know, they've, they've, most of them got past experience and know what they want and what they don't like. Well, we're here to help them make, get that, um, that perfect home, the one they want. And um, we've certainly got plenty of designs and this is one of them that is going to fit that bill. Well, I love the house, 40 square Saxon Vale. Uh, that is the official walkthrough. We're going to take your, your questions now. I'm going to have Lisa Stacey to come on, come on over and answer yeah, questions. Yeah. So we've got a few questions off the website. Yeah, so the most asked question is in regards to favourite upgrade option. Ah, yeah, okay. So fa favourite upgrade option for this is um, the butler's pantry. Uh, so downstairs. It might be said that not everybody needs a butler's pantry, but everybody wants one. And mm. it's certainly a fantastic feature. It's a great resale feature for the home. Um, it's an extension of the kitchen. Mm -hmm. So especially in those festive times when you've got your family and friends over, it just gives you all room to work and move in. Um, you clean up, you can shove everything in that butler's pantry, nice clean space, and then you can continue entertaining the rest of the night. Yeah, yeah. deal with the mess in the morning. You can deal with the mess <laughs> in the morning. So that's the most popular feature of this home. Yeah. Um, I would say, and um, the other one is the flexibility or versatility of the, of the design, which we talked about earlier. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. And people are also asking, can we do a mirrored image of the house? Oh yeah, yeah. Any way you want. Yeah. So talk, talk about what the mirrored image means uh, for, for someone that may think mirrored might mean putting mirrors throughout. Okay, so what is super important in house design is solar orientation. Now, not many people put a lot of thought into it, but it is absolutely super important when you are building a house that we get that solar orientation right. Which side is the alfresco on? Where does the sun come up? Where does it go down? In winter, where's the sun in the horizon? Is it low in the horizon? Yes. In summer, is it high? It goes over the top of the house. So we're positioning this house to suit your requirements, but also to get the most optimal living conditions out of it. And that means positioning it correctly on the block. Now, if that means we have to flip it over, we just mirror reverse it. So it's a clean flip of the design. Yep. Top floor and bottom floor just flip over. Wonderful. I, I've got a question that the viewers uh, might have. In terms of designs, we've seen the Hamptons today, but that doesn't mean you have to build this in a Hamptons, does it? No, no. We touched on it with the stairwell as well. We have contemporary options for this home. Um, you can fit it out industrial, coastal, whatever design you would like. We'll have a facade to suit you and the interior design style that will fit the bill as well. Lisa, what's your favourite styling? I actually like industrial. Our previous Saxon Vale was at um, Waterford County, was fitted out with an industrial um, styling, and, and that, that's my style. I've done it in my own home. So. And if you want to see that styling, you still can, can't you, on the 3D walkthroughs, which is on our website. Um, you just yeah. Google the Saxon Vale. We do have all our walkthroughs of, of any of our displays that we've had in the last couple of years that may not necessarily be on display anymore on our website. Just search 3D walkthrough at the Saxon Vale. Uh, guys, look, thanks so much for joining us today. Mick, Lisa, thanks for, for coming and ha having a chat to the Facebook Live viewers. Thanks again. We're going to do uh, more of these. Uh, I believe the next one's going to be possibly uh, in Sydney. I know a lot of people have asked to do the Mars and Park displays and also we're looking at Huntley as well. Uh, so stay tuned on that. Thanks so much again. Go to our website for any questions. Uh, we're happy to answer them after this. And thanks again for joining us today.